we have a model on the line. It's been a long time since I've actually talked to a model. It's been like since last year. So uh, definitely proud to have her on the show. Latifa Drinks, what's the deal? Hey, hey, how are you? So, um, <laughs> so, you know, I interview a lot of models and usually they just give me like a casual, just, you know, an easy name, Jennifer Morrell. Uh, Heather Shanholtz, mm. but yours is pretty interesting because mm. it's Latifa drinks. Now, when I seen that, I, I yeah. was I, I thought it was more like like you were some kind of like bartender or you know just somebody <laughs> like that. Where did where did that name come from? That's really unique. Actually, that is my real last name. Drinks it's is your last like name. A stage name on it. Yep, it is. What is that? Is that is yep. that is that really Panamanian? It's, yeah, no, actually, it's from my grandfather's side. Okay, so he's the one with the the name drinks. Wow. Interesting. And yeah. you and I take it that's your your real name is Latifa. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Did uh, yeah. uh were were people like, you know, were people questioning you, you know, growing up in school and everything? Like is that really your last name? Yeah, every time like people will always like make fun of it, especially when I was in elementary school, they will always be like Latifa drinks. Oh TV damn! Or Latifa drinks, <laughs> anything like they would make fun of the name, but it was all fun and games. Like I never got teased for it or anything. Um, just my classmates always thought it was funny. Yeah, it's just so hard to tell, you know, because especially nowadays, you know, everybody has an alias name. So just for that matter, it's uh, it's interesting. Wow, dope, 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 dope. So, um, Latifa, what made you want to become a glamour model? Um, I actually always wanted to. I looked up to people like Melissa Ford, Vita Guerra. Um, when I was younger, basically coming up, those were the women that were basically, you know, in the glamour eye, like the modeling eye. Mm -hmm. And um, I always admired their work, and I always, you know, said when I get of age, I definitely want to become a glamour model like them. So wow. I would say Melissa Ford has a lot to do with it. I've always admire her work and seeing these women have you ever you know now that you're officially in that kind of industry have you ever tried to reach out to these women for kind of you know guidance because you know we we look at models you know before back in the day you know compared mm -hmm. to now where mm -hmm. you know it can be models can can pretty much become successful you know over instagram or overnight kind of thing so um right. you know do you actually talk to these women and see like you know like like try to get the the, the bigger picture Actually, I haven't. Um, I really haven't thought of, like, reaching out to them or anything. I know that I follow Melissa Ford on Twitter and also Instagram, but I haven't really thought of reaching out to her and asking her for tips or anything like that. What do former models talk about on Instagram and Twitter and all that? <laughs> I don't know. I know she basically, she talks about a show that she's on right now. I think it's, like, Blood, Sweat, and Hills. So she basically talks about that. And she doesn't really mention her modeling mm -hmm. anymore, I guess, because she retired from it. So she doesn't really talk that much about it. Right. But, you know, I don't really see her talking that much about her modeling. It's more of like her personal life or her show. Right, right, right. And eventually you're going to need yeah. that after a while, you know, after being like pretty much a sex symbol. You gotta sometimes mm -hmm. take a break from it. I'm pretty sure you know you're you're on that you're on that road, that pathway right now. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, Latifa, how yeah. do you how do you usually get you know featured on these on these magazines? You know how do how do models I should say get featured on these kind of magazines? Because you're you've been in a lot, you know, and um, mm -hmm. you know, um, even like Hip Hop Weekly, you know, something like that. Like mm -hmm. how do you how do you really network with those kind of people and get involved with that? Basically, some photographers and some magazines, they hit me up. But for the most part, I pretty much partner with my photographer and we submit my pictures, you wow. know, to different magazines and it gets picked up. That's so cool. it's really not nothing too, you know, extreme that I have to do. Um, it's not really that much. It's not really that hard to get into magazines, I should say. I feel like if you take good pictures or you have, like, the right connections, you can definitely get into a magazine. See, I didn't know that. I thought it's not as hard as it used to be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I and I always thought, you know, it was always the uh, the model that would approach the magazines and you know the, the 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 photographers. I didn't know it was the other way around. So they actually discover you guys. Some some of the photographers and some of the magazines will like come across your page and then be like, oh, I want you to be the on the cover of this 
um, a magazine or the next issue, and sometimes we will like submit our pictures. It just depends. Oh, okay. Okay. Do we, do any yeah. of them try to try to do the dirty route and try to use you and say like, oh, I can get you this, 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 and you know all that um, negativity. Actually, I haven't experienced that yet. <laughs> unfortunately, well, I wouldn't say unfortunately, but I haven't experienced that as of yet. Knock on wood. So yeah, I was gonna say I'm knocking on wood as we speak. That. But I did experience like towards the beginning of my career, I did experience like a photographer that you know, was saying that he can get me there and he can get me, you know, here and there if I take these kind of pictures. And at that point of my career, I wasn't really ready to take the type of pictures that I take now. Mm -hmm. um, I wasn't, like, comfortable, you know, as comfortable um, in my skin as I am now because I was still, you know, pretty much new to it. And when you're new to it, you don't want to get, you know, right into, like, wearing the thongs right. and et cetera. So he basically was... um. He basically was trying to pressure me to take certain pictures that I didn't want to take and telling me that I would never make it, you know, to be a successful model if I don't do this and I don't do that. So I'll say that's, like, one of the situations that I pretty much experienced, um, you know, when it came to, like, a scandalous person. Yeah. can I mean, can you – I mean, come on, let's keep it real. Can you actually not become a successful model nowadays? I mean, you have – so many resources, so many outlets that you can, you know, it, it's nothing to take a picture on a 16 gigabyte, you know, uh, uh, mm -hmm. cell phone and post it on like, a, you know, what a model, model, model mayhem and things like that. Yeah. So, I mean, is it, is it really that? I mean, I think he was bluffing if you ask me. I think he was just talking shit. Yeah, he was. He was. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. He definitely was. It's so easy, though. I mean, you know, with social media, all you have to do is just follow the right people, and you will definitely get seen. Yeah. And guys are going to follow either way. You know, you're going to have, no yeah. matter if it's 100 to 1,000, they're always going to follow. So that's what's up. That's exactly. What's up. Doing your thing, doing your thing. And also notice, you know, not only do you have the beauty, but you have the brains because you go to school mm -hmm. and um, you also right. work. So is modeling like um, a, a part-time thing, or what's going on with that? Actually, pretty much, I'm... I'm really focused on my modeling right now. I'm pretty much focused in school because I'm almost done. I'll be done in May, actually. Mm -hmm. So right now I'm pretty much just, you know, trying to finish up school. But actually modeling is the top priority. It's not like something that I put to the second or, you know, as a part-time thing. I wouldn't consider it that. How do you balance it out, though? See, me, I'm, 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 a, I'm a control freak. I, you know, I always have a lot on my mind. And, you know, mm -hmm. if I'm in school... And I'm doing radio. It's just it just doesn't match mm -hmm. up. So how do you maintain, you know, exactly. keeping that kind of balance between the two? Because I know you know with modeling, uh, it's all about creativity. So you think about certain yeah. ideas and certain things that you want to wear. How do you how do you not let that um, involve you involve with your with your schooling schedule? I honestly do not know how I'm able to like manage the two. It just happens. Like I just I really don't know. It's not anything special that I do. I just I, I honestly sometimes I don't even know. It just it just happens. Mm -hmm. I guess because I'm one of those people that if I'm passionate about something, I'll make sure it gets done no matter what you mm -hmm. know trials and tribulations I'm thrown. Mm -hmm. So that's just one of those type of people I am. I don't allow anything to stop me. So that could possibly have something to do with how I'm able to manage school and also modeling. That's dope. And are you going to school in Panama now, or are you in the the, the states? No, I'm in the States. Cool, cool. Are you in the South, the East, yeah. the, the West, the North? No, I'm in Ohio. Ohio. In nice. Ohio. Nice. Yeah. Shout out to Ohio, man. Yeah. Showing love. Um, here's another yeah. question that I have, too. Uh, you know, of course, the fans want to know, what kind of men do you like? Um, confident. Um, sense of humor. Basically... You know, just someone that's confident and has great sense of humor and educated and well-rounded and, you know, basically know what they want in the future or where they want to be. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. I thought you were trailing on with that. See, I, I actually <laughs> that I actually that because, and I was kind of walking on eggshells there, because a lot of women 
are turning into that lesbian route. So I kind of, you know, I'm not saying that, you know, of course <laughs> you you were going to be like that. You're going to answer like that. But just, you know, what do you think about that? I mean, what's your opinion on, I mean, even if it's all fun and games, but women who mm-hmm. are just over mm-hmm. men, what's your opinion on that? Um, excuse me. I really... I don't judge it at all. I don't really judge anybody. I just feel like, you know, it's probably just one of those situations where it's becoming like a um, a trend. So I do think that a lot of women are falling into that trend of, like, being a lesbian. Like, they see that the guys think that it's cute or whatever. So pretty much, you know, they're falling into that trend. And some women, I think that they're just tired of men. So they're just trying to route, you know, with a girl, maybe hoping for something different than what they had experienced as far as men goes. But I don't judge it. I don't think that it's, like, wrong or anything. But it just leads us on. I mean, you have the Instagram pictures and you have the Twitter. And, I mean, come on now. Like, you know, men back in the day, like, yeah, we can, you know, we can have the muscle fitness and, you know, like we were taking over. But now I feel like women are taking over. And a lot of them, you know, are on that route where they just don't, I shouldn't say like men, but they just, they're more on the girlfriends, go out and, you know, I'd rather hang out with my girls type of women. Right. You know? Right. Yeah, I agree. That's crazy. So, cool. So, we got one out of three. So, we know you like men. So, uh, Mm -hmm. here's the second one. What kind of music do you listen to? I listen to all kind of music. I like R&B. I like, um... What do I like? I like R&B, like Mariah Carey kind of music. I like reggaeton music. Um, I like Caribbean music. Um, I like all kinds of music. It's not anything in particular that I just listen to. What about like an artist? Do you have? I mean, you mentioned Mariah Carey, but do you have like yeah a specific artist that you're just obsessed over? Actually, yes, Mariah Carey. Like, she's been my favorite singer for I don't know how long, so... Really? Yeah, Mariah Carey. Mm-hmm. She kind of lost her touch, you know, for the last year. She's kind of She kind of <laughs> lost it for a second. I hope she gets it back. She did. She <laughs> did kind of fall off, but I'm a loyal fan, so I don't think... There you I'm going to like anybody the way that I like her. <laughs> See, that's how I feel about my Lakers, the basketball team. You know, they suck right now, but <laughs> eventually they're going to get better. <laughs> Latifa yeah. <laughs> Drinks, Latifa Drinks, that is her actual name. So what's coming up next for you? What do you have up your sleeve that we should know about? You know, any other features in magazines? What's going on? Um, Actually, I do plan on doing a few more magazines, probably getting into the video scene. And then, you know, pretty much after that, I might, you know, take a little break from it and focus on... Um, probably my educational career and, you know, probably possibly doing other things besides modeling. But I don't know yet. Um, That's just how I feel right now. No telling how things would be, you know, at that point. But that's pretty much what you have to look for right now. What about the um, this summer? You plan on laying out by the beach? Um, actually... No, <laughs> I have like a summer class, so I don't have like any free time to do anything this summer. I mean, come on, so it is, you, have you have to have something going on in the weekend. I know Ohio is turned up in the weekend on in, in summertime. <laughs> I'm actually like a homebody, so I don't really do really. Anything. I just sit at home. Yeah, I just sit at home and watch movies. So if it is something that's fun going on, I wouldn't know nothing about it. <laughs> hey, more money for you, right? More money saved up. I know, right? <laughs> Let's see for drinks. Um, so go ahead and, you know, let us know where we can contact you at and, you know, hit you up for information and keep in touch with you, all that good stuff. Yeah, okay. You can follow me on Instagram at Latifa Drinks. You can also um, send me on Facebook at Latifa Drinks. Um, I have a fan page that's also Latifa Drinks and my Twitter at Latifa Drinks. So every single page that I will have is at Latifa Drinks. And I noticed, too, that so you also have a... I noticed, too, that you also have a uh, texting number, like where people can text you and call yeah. you. Is that something that you, yeah. you like to broadcast? Yeah, basically you can um, you can request my number and text me and call me um, to get that link. Well, actually, to get um, the details for that, you have to go to www.chatstar.com backslash Latifa underscore drinks. Definitely. You yeah, can well, hit me up on there. I'm always texting my fans. We'll make sure to put that on the website. Um, 
that's that's cool though that you do that. What's the what's the craziest text or the the craziest phone call that you've received so far? Um, actually, I haven't received any crazy ones so far. I just started it, so come I on, nothing. Anything. Yeah, I haven't received anything too crazy yet. Yeah, no. I don't. I don't believe yeah, it. I think you're hiding something from me. No, no, <laughs> I'm not. I mean, just guys try to get with me. That's about it. But nothing like crazy. Oh, okay. Yeah, nothing like. That really had me like, what in the world? We'll Who see. Ask that? We'll, we'll see. You know, you know, might might have that new fan that just hits you up with something on the side, like a hey, blah 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 blah, whatever they say. I don't. I'm not thirsty, so I'm right. like I say. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see for drinks right here, man. Thank you so much for being on the podcast today, and um, yeah, Thank let's you. go ahead and conquer the world, and we'll chop it up with you later. All right. Yeah. Thank you for having me. I had a great time. Absolutely.